as I walked to meet my mum, that car passed me. I can accept this as it is a main road. It turned left. I continued to walk. It was fine for two to three minutes. It zoomed past me. A hostile face turns around swiftly, peering itself into my eyes, piercing my legs. Whoa! Oh. I'm having the Two side Yankees and Yankees. What is it? The dark side taking more control. I'm not doing anything. Everything happening around me is a total nightmare. And I want to leave now. It's been five years. Five years. And it still exists. Both of us are still breathing in the air of the past. As we live in separate lives. And as we meet again, everything goes back to how it was before. When the past hits me again, I see its hollow eyes glaring, tightening my chest like a needle. It ain't even funny. I moved to the back so he wouldn't keep staring at me and he kept turning around like every 10 seconds. Your face has expressed a subdued hatred, which I painted by myself in my newly manufactured glare. You will not cleanse my figments of the past. I know it was wrong. I need not to feel guilty. See, this is what made me the way I am. Now courage fills me when this hovers past like a car at full speed, no longer foreseeing deceptions warp, 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 warped in foil. I love doing this. I love the sadness in your face. I'm so, so desperate for you to be scared of me. I'm always belligerent. I don't ever think about anyone else but myself. I'm always in trouble. I'm never happy though. It's better with me. I'm not. I will admit there was a lot of things that I did that were really bad. There could have been so much worse, but there were things that I did that didn't help my situation. I wasn't allowed to go near this girl's house. Well, I was told not to, like the end of January. I still carried on going there and around like March, April time. Well, I saw dad and her brother and her brother was looking at me like he wanted to slap me around the face. Yeah, that was horrible because I had to tell my parents about it and they were cross with me because I made such a stupid um, mistake by going there. I used to like getting into trouble because I used to like the feeling of adrenaline going through my body, the pressure, the uncertainty of what was coming around the corner. She used to work in this place, Cupcakes. It was like a small cafe. And I walked past and sort of looked through the window in this very nosy way. She was right by the window eating in a restaurant she worked at, I know. She looked terrified. How dare I be on the high street, you know what I'm saying? I looked back and this person came out and was shooing me away. I remember putting my middle finger up because I was just like, what? But you know, I guess you can see it from both angles. And I treated this with absolutely no um, seriousness at all. Very frustrating. 
one time, I think this might have happened before actually, this one thing I'm about to talk about, um, I went to wait for my friend, it was like the day before, I went to wait for my friend outside his science class and this girl was in his class as well, and obviously I was thinking that she'd be there, so, you know, I guess it's intentional, but I was with my friend as well, and she overreacted and went home. I got on the bus, as I usually do. I was quite upset because I realised I only have like five weeks until I finish at Cambridge College. Um, so I had tears in my eyes. People at the back of the bus asked me what upset me. So I mentioned that this girl who I fancy had called me, well, yeah, she called me creepy. I heard her say it earlier. Uh, and they know, or one of them knew, someone on Route 9, the bus right behind ours. So he called this guy up, and this guy managed to get the phone to the girl I like. And he started telling her that, he, um, that she'd upset me by calling me creepy. At this point, she gets a whole clan of boys to sort of s stare at me and intimidate me. Um, although, you know, she did call me creepy, so, you know, it's not as if I've just called her a name out of nowhere. I shouldn't be staring, but at the same time, you know, she shouldn't be calling me creepy. Uh, the worst part was, well, I was passed the phone by one of the boys at the back of the bus. Um, I was expecting this girl to speak to me. I didn't want to even go on the phone, but I had to, and this boy said... Are you that effing weirdo?